This princess suddenly begins to roar and creates a powerful current of air. The house is shaking, and the sound is turning the monolithic monument into fragments. The stone fragments attack the witch like bullets, and some people got hurt because they couldn't dodge in time. But the battle has just begun. Princess Cirilla summons the black portal and two huge monsters come out of the portal. Their looks are frightening. The witch keeps slashing at the monsters with their swords, but they don't have a winner. The witcher Geralt is very worrying about Cirilla getting hurt, but Cirilla can't regain her senses. She even uses the portal again and summons a third monster. The ugly monster rushes towards Gerald, and he flies out of the room. He is trampled by the monstrous claws and can move. Gerald can only use spells to repel the monster, and then continue the fight with his sword. Gerald is the strongest witcher on the continent, and he eventually defeats the monster. The monster's body fell from the castle, but Vesemir, the leader of the witch, believes that Cirilla cannot be awakened, and he plunges his dagger into Cirilla's body, and tries to kill her. Surprisingly, Cirilla's wounds are healing fast. No one can hurt Cirilla, and all the witch don't know what to do. Sudden, the female sorcerer Yennefer cuts her wrist with glass. The blood keeps staying. She tries to make this way to wake up Cirilla and make her stop summoning monsters. Princess Cirilla seems to have superb spellcasting abilities, but a month ago, she was a girl who was weak in battle. Gerald is training her. What the hell happened? The monster swoops from the sky and it tries to attack Gerald. Gerald doesn't flinch and he uses a spell to repel the monster. The monster loses its balance and almost falls into the water. But soon, it attacks Gerald and the princess again. The monster keeps flapping its wings pretending to attack the warrior, but its real target is Princess Cirilla. She falls off her horse, and Gerald tells the princess to run. Luckily both Gerald and Cyril are not hurt, but their horse died. They were very sad and kept petting the horse, hoping it would suffer less. Gerald can't stand it more. He wants to avenge the horse. He told Cirilla to walk to the top of the hill, and then he drank a potion that could enhance his fighting ability. Soon, black spots appear on Gerald's face. The pupils also turn black. When Cirilla arrives at the top of the hill, the monster quickly flies towards her, but this time, Cirilla doesn't run away, she watches the monster swoop down on her. At the dangerous moment, Gerald jumps up from the cliff, and then he plunges his dagger into the monster's body. The dagger cuts its body open and the monster falls into the forest. It was already dead, no matter how fierce the monster was. Gerald always had a way to kill them. Cirilla admired him so much that she even wanted to become a witcher as well. To become a witcher, you need to be injected with a special potion, which is difficult to make. But Cirilla has elder blood in her body that can help. She finds Vesemir, the leader of the witcher, and speaks her mind. Vesemir is a bit hesitant because the process of becoming a witcher is fraught with danger. But he badly needs Cirilla's blood to make a potion. He agrees to Cirilla's request. With the help of Warlock Triss, they take Cirilla's blood. Then they add some herbs to the blood. Triss recites a spell and Cirilla's blood turns black. The potion is done. Cirilla lies on the bed and Vesemir checks with her again if she really wants to be injected with the potion. He gets an affirmative answer. The needle is about to stab Cirilla's arm when Gerald suddenly appears to stop. He believes that there are very few survivors who manage to survive the injection of the potion and become the witch. He doesn't. T wants Cirilla to take the risk. Cirilla is very sad because she feels she is not capable of protecting herself. Though she tries hard to practice her sword fighting every day and falls down, and gets back up over and over again during stake training. But she is still not strong enough. When facing monsters, she could only run away. She even often had nightmares. In her dreams, she sees her mom and dad who have died, and Cirilla is still a baby. But soon, her mom, Princess Pavetta, got hurt. Blood keeps coming out and she loses the ability to protect Cirilla. However, when Triss tries to help Princess Pavetta, she suddenly chokes Triss. Her eyeballs turn white, and she keeps saying curses. In the next second, the sky turns orange. An army rushes towards Cirilla and she is very scared and keeps screaming. Both the monster and the army want to arrest Cirilla, so she desperately wants to become stronger so she can protect herself. But Gerald says that Cirilla has grown up a lot. Gerald decides to take Cirilla to the temple to show the priestess that she can use her powers better. After some time of trekking, they arrive at the temple. The priestess is very happy to see them when Gerald explains his purpose. The priestess talks to Cyril alone and teaches her that G or Alt is resting in his room and suddenly he realizes that someone is watching him. When he turns his head he is shocked. Yen Nefer appears. G or Alt thinks she has died in the war. The couple hug and kiss each other. They both miss each other terribly. At that moment Cyril is finishing her studies and she walks inside the room. Gerald introduces her to Yennefer and they eat dinner and talk together as a family. Cyril thinks that Gerald and Yennefer need to spend some time together and she leaves the table early. On her way back to her room however, Cyril Cyril sees a book on the floor. There are blood stains on the book, 
Which intrigues Cirilla. She follows the blood stains to the room and finds a boy who has died. His killers show up, and they target Cirilla. Cirilla tries to fight back and she smashes one of the men unconscious. But the others quickly use sorcery. And a fire ignites around Cirilla. She is very scared. Luckily, Gerald and Yennefer arrive to save her. Gerald tells Yennefer to take Cirilla away and he fights alone. Although Gerald didn't use a weapon, he still defeats many bad guys. No one can hurt him. The leader of the bad guys knows that he can t defeat Gerald, and he starts to track down Yennefer. Jennifer and Cirilla. He uses a sorcery and tries to set the door of the room on fire. Smoke billows through the door into the room and Jennifer and Cirilla panic. Yennefer has temporarily lost her sorcery because of the war and she can't do anything. She begins to instruct Cirilla in the use of the sorcery and hopes that she can summon a portal to get out of here. After many attempts Cirilla manages to summon the portal. At this time the door to the room had burned down. G or Alt sees Yennefer and Cirilla walk into the portal. He feels very puzzled. He doesn't know why Yennefer didn't to use a sorcery, or where they were going. Yennefer eyes seem to hide secrets. For some reason, Yennefer proposes to return to Sintra with Cirilla. Sintra is Cirilla's homeland, although Yennefer's purpose is unknown, but Cirilla trusts her. They ride horses, and begin another long journey. After some time, they reach the outskirts of Sintra, but because of the war, the bridge has been destroyed, and they can't reach the other side. Yennefer encourages Cirilla to use sorcery and teaches her. Cirilla tries to recite a spell and the bridge rises from the river. Cirilla's eyes begin to bleed, and her body trembles. Yennefer is a little worried, and she tells Cirilla to stop, but Cirilla keeps going. Eventually she fails, and Cirilla breaks out in frustration and anger. Incredibly, her hissing takes on a spell-like effect. A path appears in the middle of the river. Amazing, Yennefer comforts Cirilla, and they continue on their way to Sintra. On the way, they talk about Gerald, whom Cirilla says she admires, and is like a father to her. This reminds Yennefer of the time she and Gerald fought together. At this time they are very close to Sintra. Yennefer is also hallucinating, and she sees Deathless Mother. It is a demon that feeds on pain. Yennefer is in pain because of the loss of spales from the war. So she has been controlled by Deathless Mother. Deathless Mother asks for Cirilla, but Yennefer gets hesitant. At the same time, Cirilla uses sorcery to feel Yennefer's thoughts. She knows that Yennefer has other plans for her, and she is furious. She thinks that Yennefer has betrayed her and Gerald. Cirilla roars again, and her voice shatters the ground. Even the walls of the city begin to crumble. This attracts the attention of the Nilfgaardane Empire soldiers stationed in the city. They quickly set out to capture Yennefer and Cirilla. They kept running, but the soldiers caught up with them. Yennefer loses her sorcery, so she can only pick up branches and attack the soldiers. Cirilla is caught by the soldiers and she is pinned to the ground. Suddenly she saw her savior Gr. LT. No matter what the danger, Gerald always seems to be the first to arrive. Gerald kills all the soldiers and saves Yennefer and Cirilla. But Gerald is still annoyed because Yennefer has taken Cirilla away from him. Gerald's sword is pressed against Yennefer's neck, and he questions Yennefer about what happened. And Yennefer can only tell the truth. In order to win the War of Sodden, Yennefer used super spells. She summons a great fire that kills all the Nilfgaardane Empire soldiers. But at the end of the war, she realized that she had lost her sorcery. This caused her great pain and despair. Deathless Mother is a demon that feeds on pain. She is also an emissary sent from the outer plains to this continent in search of Cirilla. Yennefer's pain makes deathless. Mother stronger and stronger. She keeps invading Yennefer's dreams and makes her an offer. If Yennefer can help her find Cirilla, she will restore her sorcery for her. At first, Yennefer doesn't agree to deathless mother's demands. However, the Nilfgaardane Empire keep tracking Yennefer, and she is captured. Yennefer faces the death penalty, and she is powerless to resist. She has no choice but to compromise with the deathless mother. Yennefer escapes through a portal summoned by the Deathless Mother. She follows the directions to the temple, and reunites with Gerald and Cirilla. Gerald realizes that their real enemy is Deathless Mother, and he decides to kill her with Yennefer. But bad news come. Deathless Mother has gathered enough pain to break out of the hut where she is imprisoned. She turns into a ball of starfire and quickly flies towards Cirilla. Deathless Mother enters Cirilla. As body and her pupils turn green, she rides her horse and eventually returns to Kaer Morhen, the witch's hometown. In order to minimize the number of opponents, Opponents. Deathless Mother manipulates Cirilla into killing the witch. While the witch are sleeping, she slits their necks with a knife. Cirilla even goes so far as to kill Vesmer, the witch's leader. Fortunately, Gerald arrives at the base camp and stops Cirilla. The Deathless Mother in Cirilla's body pretends to be innocent and says that she didn't kill the witch. But Gerald sees her pupils. And he knows that this is not the real Cirilla. Deathless Mother is angry at being exposed. She hurts Gerald and leaves. Her behavior on Jael of the witch. They decide to work together to kill Deathless Mother. Vesemir drinks a potion and his pupils turn black and his fighting strength is greatly increased. He is ready to start fighting at any time. But Gerald stops him and says he has a way to 
to help Cirilla. Soon he negotiates with Deathless Mother. He asks Deathless Mother to leave Cirilla's body, and that he himself can be used as a vessel to contain Deathless Mother. However, Deathless Mother is not interested in Gerald, and their negotiations end in failure. The witch all raise their weapons. Suddenly Cirilla begins to roar and the battle begins in earnest. Gerald kills a monster, but Vesemir thinks that Cirilla can't be awakened anymore and he plunges his dagger into Cirilla's body. But because of Deathless Mother, no one could hurt Cirilla. Yennefer could only cut her wrist with glass. Yennefer asks to be used as a container for Deathless Mother. This shocks Deathless Mother and she begins to leave Cirilla's body. Cirilla passes out. They see Deathless Mother turn into Starfire again and enter Yennefer's body. The Black Portal appeared with a strong current of Aaron Gerald. Yennefer and Cirilla are sucked into the portal. They arrive on a desert where there is nothing but orange dirt. Deathless Mother summons an army, an organization called Wild Hunt. They are from an alien planet, and their goal is also to get Cirilla. What new story will happen to them?